Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how easy it is to create a simple mod in Terraria. Uh, we're going to be adding a sword and the item you need to craft it. And as you can see here, it's a pretty nice sword. So pop on to Tmod Loader. Um, make sure you have Visual Studio 2022 installed. Next, go into Develop Mods in the workshop. You're going to need to create a new mod. Make sure the mod name is tutorial mod, because if you're copying my code, then you might mess up later if you name it something else. However, you can set the display name to whatever you want. You can always modify these settings in the um, build file later if you need. Uh, so when you create the mod, you're going to navigate to the little icon in the top right next to the exclamation mark. This will open the .cs proj in Visual Studio 2022. Uh, the reason you need 2022 is for your IntelliSense, which is auto suggestions if you don't know. So first you're going to make the set static defaults void and in here you can set the display name and tooltip tool to whatever you want. Um, next the set defaults, so these are changeable, so we've got the item.damage, um, etc, etc. Make sure your width and height are equal to the um, size of your sprite file, which um, we'll talk about later. You can change these values any way you want, um, but yeah. So um, next you're going to add the recipe. Make sure you include tutorial material. We actually haven't made it yet, so it will throw an error, um, but that's we'll make it later. Just make sure you name it the same thing. And finally, we'll add the right click ability. So alt function use is uh, right click, so alternate function. And with that, you can put anything you want in there. I'm making it take a quarter of your health and add some buffs and 10 times the damage. And then obviously we need to revert the damage next swing. So we have a boolean to check if we just applied it or not. And after we've just applied it, it will uh, remove it, which allows you one swing with the 10 times damage. So now make the tutorial um, item, make sure you name it tutorial material sorry uh, because that's what we named it in the recipe and you'll get an error if you don't again you can set the static defaults to whatever you want um so for this you wanted a lot smaller sprite so do 16 by 16 size um you can set a buy price gold one if you want but you don't need that um so if, obviously if you want to actually have this in vanilla you need a recipe to get this special um item so i'm going with hallowed bars and souls of might so first up let's make the sword uh, go, i'm going with 128 white 128 which is massive and high resolution you should scale it up um but i wanted a high resolution one so uh you can also use um an app if you don't uh, if you want to but if you don't have the app, I recommend using Pisskull since it's pretty easy to use. So, um, as you can see, I'm going and adding a lot of extra detail to my sword just to make it look really nice. Um, if you want, you can make your own sword sprite, or else you can just um, take this one off the GitHub, which I link in the description. So, um, once you're done with it, export it as a PNG. You're going to have to name this um, tutorial sword and place it in the same folder as the tutorial sword.cs file. Uh, now create a sprite for your material. I'm just going with like a golden swirly thing, honestly, because it is um, themed around hallowed bars and souls, and souls are swirly and hallowed bars are golden. So we'll just quickly pop that down. Make sure it's 16 by 16 canvas size as well. That's a pretty icky sprite, but um, I don't want to take too long on it. So now make sure that they're named the same thing as their respective .cs files and then that they're in the same folder. As you can see here, I've done that. Um, and then if you pop back into Tmod Loader, build and reload your mod. I recommend using Terraria Overhaul and you definitely need Cheat Sheet. Um, so name, make a new character. I wouldn't test it on your world in case you mess up. Uh, so once you create that, pop into a new world and just make sure that um, you're not testing this on your world. So if you pop into Cheat Sheet, um, get out the materials. Well, first of all, check if your items are there. So just search tutorial um, like so. And as you can see, both of them are there. 
So you can just take the items if you want. And you also need a um, workstation. So we need the mithra anvil to craft the material, and we need the workbench to craft the sword. Which I just chose as a demonstration on how to choose different uh, crafting stations. Anyway, so once you've got them, uh, just pop them down somewhere. So uh, our sword's very good. So if you see, copper short sword does maybe four, five, six damage, and it's really hard to hit. Um, and you can craft, and you can see the recipe is actually there if you stand near the workbench with enough of the item. And it's pretty big, and you can easily hit it like so. And if you see when I uh, right click, um, I've got 5,000 melee damage for the next hit, if you see that, which is very cool. Um, and the moment I swing again, it shall do now, uh, you see it goes back to 500, 5,000. 500, 5,000, etc. And you can easily change your sword to suit you. I'll be making more videos, and the next one will probably be on how to make a simple slime enemy. All of the code and uh, sprite files are in the GitHub linked in the description, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe.